Have you ever wondered about the origins of the gleaming allure known as Russian gold? Today we delve into the history, composition and origin of this fascinating precious metal. Buckle up, because we're about to embark on a treasure hunt back in time. Our story begins in the mid-19th century. The year was 1842 and the location, the heart of Russia. A new form of gold had just been introduced to the world. Its name simple enough, Russian gold. Russian gold, as it's known, isn't pure gold. Rather, it's an alloy, a mixture of metals. This blend gives Russian gold its distinctive warm hue. Its composition is typically 14 parts gold to 10 parts copper, hence why it's often referred to as 14 karat gold. But don't let the name fool you. Russian gold can sometimes contain other elements, such as silver or platinum, to enhance its durability or modify its color. Now, what sets Russian gold apart is its unique reddish-yellow color. This color is achieved through the careful balancing of gold and copper in its alloy. This rich hue has captivated jewelry enthusiasts for centuries, earning Russian gold a prominent place in the annals of jewelry history. The origin of Russian gold traces back to the gold mines of the Ural Mountains. This region, rich in natural resources, was the birthplace of this precious metal. It was here that Russian gold first made its debut, captivating the world with its unique luster. Fast forward to today, and Russian gold continues to be a coveted commodity. Its unique color and historical significance make it a favorite among jewelry enthusiasts and historians alike. So, to recap, Russian gold was first created in the year 1842. It was not a solid gold, but rather a veneer or plating created by blending various alloys often applied to other alloys like brass. Although after the recent passing of World War I, any number of materials were used as a base alloy. Russian gold was also known for its distinctive reddish-yellow color, which is achieved through a careful blend of gold, copper and brass. The Ural Mountains in Russia serve as the birthplace of this precious metal, giving it its namesake. Today, Russian gold continues to be a treasured commodity in the world of jewelry, loved for its unique color and historical significance. The allure of Russian gold is undeniable. Its rich history, unique composition and distinct color combine to create a precious metal that's truly one of a kind. So the next time you come across a piece of Russian gold, remember the journey it's been on, from the mines of the Ural Mountains to the jewelry box in front of you. Today, when Russian gold is mentioned, it is typically due to Miriam Haskell, a celebrated jeweler of the 1920s, who played a pivotal role in popularizing Russian gold in the United States. Haskell had a knack for incorporating Russian gold as the preferred finish in her jewelry designs. Interestingly, the Russian gold used by Haskell was not solid gold. Rather, it contained a relatively low percentage of genuine gold, so it was inexpensive, yet had an expensive antique appearance in her jewellery design. To keep her designs cost-effective and to create a more authentic and unique look, Haskell, through the help of a colleague, added additional alloys, much of which was kept secret from the general public and other jewellers alike. Jewelers even today still question what was all used in the colouring process, or was it truly just random colours with no specific standard to alloy percentages used? This unique blend resulted in a distinctive matte, flat, reddish hue, giving the jewellery an aged and antique appearance. The uneven shades on the surface of Haskell's jewellery, plated in Russian gold, became a hallmark of her creations and showcased her innovative approach to design. Haskell's ingenious use of Russian gold not only highlighted its aesthetic appeal, but also helped cement its place in the annals of jewellery history.